Hey everyone, Lance here, and I've got John with me again today. Hey again. Now today me and John are going to be reflashing a Radeon 7950 graphics card to have true Mac OS support. So that will mean we get the boot screens, boot selector and all that good stuff. Now the main reason we've gone with the 7950 is because there is a Mac version of this card, but if you take a look on eBay the prices for those are through the roof. Now this card, there is a tool available to very easily flash it so you get everything that you'd want from this card on a Mac. This card is also metal supported which means that John will be able to upgrade his Mac Pro to Mac OS Mojave keeping it all up to date and this card also has 4K support. Now the reason John has gone with the Sapphire card is because it has the same ports as the Mac equivalent card and it also has dual 6 pin PCI Express power connectors which is what the Mac Pro has inside of it. Worth noting that you can do this with most 7000 series Radeon cards, but not all of them. And these cards do have a dual BIOS, but the switch may be different from manufacturer to manufacturer. So it pays if you're following along with us on this video to check uh, what BIOS you want to flash onto, whether it be the first one or the second one. Is there anything you want to add, John? Uh, no, the only reason, the, the, the only reason, um, the reason that I've got Lance here is because he has uh, access to a Windows um, computer, um, which is significantly easier to um, flash the card with. You can do it on your Mac Pro, but uh, the boot selection screen uh, doesn't load um, if you have a, uh, a non-Mac version of a card. Um, so it's just if you have access to a Windows computer, just use that. It's significantly easier. Uh, but yeah, Lance covered it. Basically, these the real versions of these are incredibly expensive and they're not really worth it. It is really easy to flash your own card, so why not make a tutorial and show you guys how simple it is uh, to save yourself a whole lot of money and also uh, help you get um, support for Mojave and beyond. Cool, let's get to it. So first of all, what we need to do is visit this link here. This is the Tech Power Up website and the full link is techpowerup.com forward slash download forward slash ATI hyphen ATI flash and we want to download this tool and that is the AMD flashing software while that's downloading we also want to go to this link here now I'll put both of these links in the video description and we want to download this here. Now this is a Python script which will insert the Mac part of the firmware into the BIOS of the card. Russian website but that's fine. So now we've got those two files. I've got a USB stick that I have named uh, 7950. So I'm going to put both of these files onto that USB stick and then I will eject that and it's ready to go into the PC. So I've replaced Lance with this part on the Windows side. It's relatively easy and doesn't really require um, you to do too much stuff. Um, on the Windows side, you just need to load up um, the USB stick. Um, you can see that we've got the ATI Flash application, which is the only thing we need for this. Um, and then obviously just uh, extract here. Um, it'll make a little uh, folder on the desktop that you can then open and you can run this application. Now you, it is important to note that you do have to run this as an administrator um, and then you yeah, will obviously open it up. So what we need to do is just need to click on save um, and then we're just going to save the BIOS to the USB stick. It's nothing too difficult and click save. Now the next part of this whole um, process is on the Mac and that's inserting the part of the firmware into the BIOS. And once we've done that, we can then flash it back onto the card. So relatively quick and easy. So we're back in Mac OS, um, and this is where you would make the uh, ROM file for the card. Now, the first thing you want to do is just rename the ROM file to um, cardname.rom so that the script can figure out where it is. The next thing you want to do is you want to un unzip that bundle that we've downloaded. Um, and just put everything to the root of the 7950 USB uh, drive. Now it is worth mentioning at this point that this tutorial is solely for the Sapphire 7950. Um, if you want to do it on a different card that's fine, um, you just need to make sure you make a note of the device ID um, that's 
uh, on the card and you can do that in the ATI Flash application. There is uh, details on the uh, website linked below that explains how to change that. Um, it's just a matter of adjusting the command. So the next thing you want to do is uh, go grab this, the, the script that they've got on this website um, and then load it up into the terminal application. So if we push enter, oh, we need to change directory first of course. So you just do that by typing CD, volumes, and then 7950. If you then uh, run that same script again, it will then create the ROM. Now you can see down the bottom it says the ROM is ready at cardname.rom.efi.rom. So um, we now have a ROM that we can now put back onto the Windows uh, side of things um, and then use that to flash uh, the card. Cool, so we're back on Windows again. Um, and this part's the easiest part of the whole thing. So we want to go to the 7950. Um, we want to copy that file that we've made um, and just you know, put it onto the desktop. If I drag it correctly. Um, and just rename it just to make life easier. So I'm just going to call it Mac.rom. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go back into the same application we used um, previously, which was to grab the BIOS file. Um, run it as administrator once again. Um, and then once you're in there, you can just go uh, load image because we're going to load the BIOS onto the card. Um, and then we're going to go desktop, find this Mac.rom, click open, and then click program. Now it's going to give me a warning to say that I've already done it because um, we did it just before to test it, but the process is exactly the same. There shouldn't be any additional steps here. Now, the cool thing about this application that we're using is that it will not let you uh, flash a BIOS that can't run on your card. It will check the device ID uh, before it tries to flash it. So it's pretty foolproof, um, but it's worth uh, just mentioning. Um, and now that we get to try it out on the Mac and see if it actually works. All right, first boot. Let's see if it works on first boot. John's also holding the option key so we can get the boot selector so we can show that that is all working. There's the startup chime. The screen's just lit up white. We should get the Apple logo come up in a few seconds hopefully. Or the boot select screen. Yeah, there's the boot select screen. And there's the Apple logo. Too easy. So that's that all done. And without those uh, little tricks, you wouldn't get that Apple logo or the boot selection screen. So our job here is done. So there you have it guys. It's as easy as that. Nice and simple really, just following the instructions. It's not too complex at all. Before you get started, it can seem like a bit of a daunting task, but really it's not difficult at all. Is there anything you wanted to add before we leave, John? No, you, I think you basically covered everything. Uh, and it's really easy to do. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be five minutes of my time, but it was. Um, if, yeah, if you're a little bit daunted by this, don't be, it's really easy to do. Um, now I have a card that's fully supported in Mac OS. It is worth noting that under About This Mac, after flashing the card, um, it now shows up as a 7950, uh, which, is, which is great. Um, before it was showing as a 7XXX card, which means nothing really but it's nice to have those little uh, quality of life um, things added in uh, but no definitely uh, worth doing you'll save yourself a whole lot of money the cards on ebay i think are around 800 new zealand dollars um, i got this card for 100 new zealand dollars um, and then with uh, about five minutes of my time i have the same same result so uh, definitely worth the investment and it runs great in the mac pro no 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 complaints from me perfect so that's all there is to say guys i do thank you all a lot for watching if you like my content, then feel free to like and subscribe. And if you want to see John in more videos, then let me know in the comments. It's definitely fun making videos with him. And before I let you guys go, don't forget to check out my Instagram and Twitter, linked in the description down below. But that's all there is to say, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.